So GPUs are continuing their free fall down to lower prices. Finally, at this point, I mean, we're just a few short months away from the next gen GPUs. So, you know, about time these ones got a little bit cheaper, I guess. Uh, so, of course, the biggest price drops are in China. That is simply due to the fact that the major reason why there's these crazy price drops is because crypto has crashed and there was just a flood. I mean, there is a flood of graphics cards flooding the market. So, you know, if any retailer actually wants to sell something, they have to do it for a pretty low price. Uh, so yeah, anyways, it's, you know, it's down to crypto and China was the crypto mining capital of the world by far. Uh, so, you know, prices should trickle down eventually into other places around the world as well. But, you know, we can kind of uh, look at China and see where stuff is going to go. Uh, so an RTX 3090 Ti, uh, even up to like 38% under MSRP. Now, keep in mind, these are retailer cards um these are not mining cards so mining cards are even cheaper than this uh now we do have to still take this with a grain of salt these gpus are still overpriced at this point because the original msrp the manufacturer suggested retailer price was so absurd to begin with you know uh because, you know, NVIDIA AMD was just like, hey, you know, everyone's gonna overpay for these graphics cards anyway, because, I mean, they literally make so much money mining. So, you know, we're just gonna increase the prices and make the profits ourselves. And, uh, you know, what's happening now is that the supply uh, has finally caught up a little bit. But the thing is, there's just too much supply now because of, well, all the crypto cards. Uh so we can look at this chart over here so we can see the top models are discounted by the most and you know that is probably due to the fact that they're still so absurdly expensive that you know not that many people uh, buy them you know the lower tier stuff is definitely a lot more you know in the gamer territory in the creative you know professional territory well these are more those uh, top models but anyways among, you know, the NVIDIA and AMD parts, the sort of general uh, percentage right now is that they are 20% lower than MSRP. Uh, so are these good prices at this point? Uh, I mean, they're definitely decent. But, you know, the thing that you have to understand as well is if you bought a GPU a year ago, sure, you were going to pay... A decent amount more money for it but you could also just mine on it to help you know sort of lower that cost you know for instance uh, you know i bought an rtx 3070 at some point i paid like just under a thousand bucks for it and i probably mined up like 400 bucks on it and you know then i did some mining on my 2060 so you could sort of help pay off the gpu that way you know and you know now obviously if you're buying a gpu you're just gonna have GPU for gaming and like stuff that you do, you know, you, you can't really mine on these things anymore because at this point with the electricity costs that have also been steadily increasing, uh, you know, you're pretty much just losing money. Uh, so yeah, prices are falling. Um, I don't know if I was in a market for a GPU right now, I would probably try to get a good deal on a used mining GPU. Uh, of course, you do want to be careful, you know, uh, I would definitely want uh, some active warranty to still be with that graphics card because you don't know how the miners actually treated the cards, you know, if the cards were in a nice, well-ventilated room and stuff like that, you know, they're probably fine. If, if they won't, if, if they weren't, you know, the chips might be a little bit, uh, might be a little bit fried, you know, but we do have the next gen launching a few months from now, you know, we don't have an exact date as far as my knowledge goes. So you can also just wait for that. And, you know, there's probably going to be an additional price decrease when uh, when the new ones launch. So, uh, but yeah, you know, overall, uh, pretty good. You know, about uh, time we had some significant uh, price drops.